Hello and welcome to Travel Trolls TV. Good morning. <laughs> so we are at Stun and Barnes, as you might know if you saw yesterday's video. If you didn't, get back and watch yesterday's video. Yes, you're missing out. <sighs> what we're going to do today is run through all the events, or most of them, what are happening this year. You've got something nearly every weekend. Refresh everybody that hasn't seen yesterday's video. Yeah. It's the big weekend this weekend, isn't it? Well, yeah, let's start with this weekend, shall we? Yes. So, I've got pictures which I'll put on screen for you to see, and I've got printouts here for us to see. Yeah. So, the big weekend. When is it, Mazzy? When does it start? It starts 3rd to the 5th of March today. It starts today. tonight. It yes. starts tonight. Yeah. 3rd to 5th of March, the big weekend. So, three days of free entertainment. Free? <coughs> Did you say free? Absolutely free. <laughs> Doesn't cost a penny. <laughs> so, oh, I've run through this twice already in yesterday's video. Classic cars, motorcycles, tractors, trucks, steam engines, Land Rovers, scooters, vintage buses, living history, Vikings, Saxons, knights, civil war, axe throwing, archery. You <laughs> name it, it's here. And you might even see the mascot, who's called Barnsley. I kept calling him Barney yesterday. Yes, yes, you did. There's a lot more. Sorry, going, Barnsley. There's a lot more going on. There is loads going on. Yeah. Live music. Yep. We've got a massive list. I'm not going to go into all that. But it's on the showground, it's in the bar, and it's in the theatre all day long. All day. All night in the bar and theatre. And if you've got any little girls, get them to dress up as princesses. It's, what is it, princess? Princess. It mentions Disney princesses as well, something like that. I don't know what that is. So what this basically is a bit of everything that's going to be happening this year, isn't it? So everything we're going to run through yeah. now, they're showing a little bit of each thing yeah. this weekend to give you an idea of what's coming yeah. up, which I think is a really good idea, a good way to start the year. Like you think, how many places have got events on this weekend so early in the year? Yeah. There isn't many places. Especially big sort of events like this mm. yeah so get yourselves here guys camping i did mention camping yesterday oh yes yeah camping is fully sold out as far as i can wow. see well done for saturday night wow tomorrow night tonight i think there's a couple of spaces left sunday night there's some spaces left uh, sorry tonight i think there's only some spaces left without electrical Electric. <sighs> um, but yeah fully sold out for saturday night so well done what about sunday Sunday, there's still places still as far as places. I'm aware. Yeah. But you don't have to sleep here either. You can come for the day. Just pop in <laughs> your car, get over, yes. plenty of parking, enjoy it. Yeah. Oh, I was just going to say there's going to be car boot sales, there's going to be burger van, like food vans. It's going to be mad festival basically weekend. Isn't I was going to say there is a car boot on Sunday morning. Yes. yes. So that's this weekend yep. starting. Get yourselves here. Uh, oh, while we're here, there was yeah. something I needed to mention. Uh, I'll put the clip up now. Um, the sales manager sent me a little pitch to throw out there, Mazzy. Oh, yes, yes. Um, there is an offer if anyone's interested in buying... Where are we? If you want to buy a new lodge or a static, you get £3,000 off this weekend, this weekend if you pay the deposit this weekend. And that includes free ground rent for the whole of this year. That's a mega sale. That's a good yeah. sale. That's Nick the salesman. Nick yeah. the sales manager. Yep. Yeah. Um, Which we'll be going into on another video, won't we? Taking a walk we around a few of those yeah, to show you. Now, what I want to get out there, yeah. I didn't really want to throw mm. this in the video, but people were what? commenting last night, Is are you getting paid to do this? Is this a paid review? No. No, we're not getting paid <laughs> to do this. No. We just have a very good relationship with Ston and Barnes. Yeah. Um, they invited us last year. We yeah. came. We made them. We made some great videos here. We had a great time. We enjoyed ourselves, yeah. And we've come back. They enjoyed the publicity, and yeah. they invited us back, so we've come back. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so that's got that out of the way, right? Right. So the first event after the big weekend starts. Sunday the 19th of March, Model Railway Show. Brilliant. I don't know how I can get excited about anything else after the Model <laughs> Railway Show because I, I used to be a train spotter. I loved Model Railways. Now, we've done a weekend at similar kind of an event, haven't we? And it was fantastic. So I'm sure this no. one's going to be... Oh, didn't we? Oh, it was a steam. We have never been to a Model Railway oh, event. Oh, no, it's totally different, isn't I it? I have. <laughs> 
it's a new show here at Stonham, so I'm, I'm reading off here now because we haven't read these. We, you know, we're yeah. giving you our instant reaction as we read Are what's going on. Are these in date order? They're all in date right, order, okay. yeah. So they're looking for exhibitors and traders. Um, I think they're actually quite surprised at how many exhibitors, etc., want to have a model railway show. It is a big thing. Yeah. There's a big following yeah. for model railways. Um, so that's five pound for an adult. It's on the nineteenth of March. Is it just for one day? Yeah. I think this it's is just, just for, for one day. day. Ten till four. Ten till four. And under twelve go free. Now, a fiver. You can't go wrong with a fiver, can you? No. It's a good. Not good. for model railways. Yeah. yeah. I love my model <laughs> railways. Uh, it's a shame we won't be at that one because I'd love to go. We are going to pick a few, aren't we? To we are going to turn up at some of these. We'll go to two, three. Yeah. Possibly even four of these. We will make our mind up in the near future won't we mm. so you know these are all just put out there's obviously things going to be added throughout the year yes um, which aren't on the leaflets yet yeah <laughs> um, but it's giving us a good idea of what's what's happening it's actually model railway let me keep these in order and then you have got the angling at game and country show i think this is going to be good if you're into angling definitely yeah, but it's like a country show as well, isn't it? I think this is going to be good. So this is going to be like your Suffolk show. Your it could North possibly be. Yorkshire yeah. show type thing. That's, it's a smaller scale. Yeah, that's possibly. what I'm guessing. Yeah. Uh, this is on the 22nd and 23rd of April. Yeah. Uh, so that's open two days then. Yes, this right. is a two day thing. You can meet Bob Nudd. MBE. Anyone yes. who does fishing will know who Bob Nudd yes. is. He's like a world champion, four times world champion. I believe he actually helped design some of the, the lakes, lakes or here. the fish going in yeah. or something. He's an ambassador for Stone and Barnes. Have we met him? No. Oh, not yet. No. no. Uh, um, does it say how much for that one? Uh, not yet. It just says book your tickets online. Right. Coming soon. Um, there's also Suffolk's Jack DeMant coming. I don't know who he is. Sorry. Sorry, Jack. <laughs> I'm sure he's a really good fisherman. And tips on course fishing plus sea angling demonstrations. Brilliant. So, they must be putting buses on, getting all thousands of you on buses and taking you to the, for a free day at the sea. <laughs> How else are they going to do it? There's no sea. I have no idea. So, mm. that'll be a great day out. And yes. I would imagine they're going to have like a, a competition as well, aren't well, they? Well, there's all traders and stuff like that as well. It's not just all about the fishing. It's going to be a show. So if you're not into the fishing kind of side of it... The countryside. Maybe the countryside sort of, so to say, yes. Um. So, so yeah, that's there's, for all these, there's camping available as well. If, yeah. If you've got a motorhome or a tent or a camper van, uh, you can book in on the field there. Or look into booking maybe a static. Oh, yeah, static. <laughs> um, not only that though, these ain't just the shows that are happening here. You have everything on your doorstep that we have shown in yesterday's previous video. videos. Yes. Go back, watch yesterday's video. It'll show you what is on. For offer here. It's not just a field. No. <laughs> There's a lot here. Yeah. All right. So moving on, we're now on to the seventh of May. So this is the week after. This is a motor. Oh no, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're not. Oh. Ignore me. <laughs> but it is the week after. It is the 29th and 30th of April. Dog Obedience Show. Okay. Lots of people like that, don't they? A bit like crafts, is it? Uh, kind of thing. Sort of, I suppose. Um, one thing I forgot to point out. There is actually an angling shop here at Stone and Bounds oh, as is. well. Yes. Um, and there is a dog grooming yes. shop here yeah. as well. Yeah. So they, what does this say? Uh, Dis and Harleston Dog Training Club. I'm guess they're running it or helping to run it. Experienced competitors with obedience champions compete. New owners who want to have a go at competition. We'll have to get a dog. Wow. Yeah. We're gonna have to get a dog. We can borrow your mums. <laughs> oh, dog obedience! You're having a laugh. <laughs> so they have classes for all breeds and sizes of dogs. So if you're a dog lover, get yourself there. That's a two-day show. Yeah, two-day again. Hot and cold food available. Entries close on the 28th of March. Oh, right. Yes, yeah, so if you want to enter, get that 
booked up online, I'm guessing, wouldn't it? And it is actually a national competition. Oh, wow. Mm. I wonder what the prizes are. <laughs> dog food. <laughs> a dog? Dog tree. <laughs> Don't know. Kennel. <laughs> right, moving on. Moving on, right. So we have got, when are we now? Sunday, the 7th of May. So this is a one dayer. Yep. £10 per passenger, per adult. This looks really good. I think I'm going to like this one. Ten till four, Stone and Barnes Motorcycle Show. Brilliant. Okay, enjoy one big day out. Get close to the wall of death. Oh, what, you get to have a go? Just says get close to it. I don't think they're going to let people on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think it's quite a skilled thing to go around the wall of death. doing all the wheelies and jumps and stuff. I'm guessing it's... It's going to be quite entertaining, isn't it? It does actually say, pull wheelies on the extreme wheelie machine. So maybe oh. maybe they're going to let you get on motorbikes and have a go. Oh, maybe. And under 12, so free again. There is going to be over 2,000 awesome bikes there. Oh, wow. God, it's going to be noisy. Yeah. It's going to be noisy when they turn up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, classics, mm. cafe, racers, sports, hand-built trikes, quads. Under 12 is free, I think you've said that. Yes. Exhibiting riders are free. Yep, that's all I've got on that one. And that's open 10 till 4 again. So if you like your motorcycles, that's the weekend for you. This one looks good. <laughs> There's quite a lot of car ones yes. throughout the year. Yeah. But they're all slightly different. Yeah. So this is the 14th of May. One day, under 12 is free, £10 per adult, 10 a.m., Till four again. Till four. Yep. And this is spring break hot rods and custom culture. Oh, I think that would be brilliant. I've never really understood what a hot rod is. I've, I'm not a car person. It's it's um. All I think is American. Yeah, oh, they're like custom bikes, aren't? They? Uh, c custom cars, aren't they? Where they're custom built, are they? I imagine it's them which jump up and down. Yeah, yeah, possibly. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know my back. I would love that well. anyway. <laughs> so it says a gathering for everyone who loves rods, bikes, trikes, mm. and custom. Auto jumble, jumble sale maybe for. Oh, auto yeah, parts yeah, or something, I don't know. Yeah. Trade stands, dancers. Dancers, wow. Show and shine trophies. trophies. DJs, food and drink. It's a perfect weekend out, isn't it? Drivers come free if you bring one of your classic cars. Yeah. So that's only actually one day. I said weekend there. That's 14th <laughs> of May. Yeah. And then, where are we on here? Uh, the weekend after... Steam and Vintage Show, two days, Brilliant. 20th and 21st of May, £10 an adult. It's worth it, isn't it? We've done, now, this is something we've done similar in the past. We've Brilliant done, weekend, that was. Where were we? Can you remember? I can't remember, but... We went to one last year. This is the beauty <laughs> about Ston and Barnes. Steam rallies. Yeah. There's about seven go on around the UK. Yeah. But that's all they do, steam rallies. Yeah. This is taking a bit of everything and throwing yeah. it into the same venue. Yeah. Um, and they're doing a steam and Basically, vintage show here. Basically, you've got a lot more to do here, <laughs> haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> and they always seem to do this. They've got the tractor mm. engines, miniature engines. They're the tiny little things which hey, chug along. If you want to know, you're going to come. <laughs> vintage tractors mm. and World War II ve vehicles. All oh, right, yeah. Agricultural and construction vehicles, vintage motorcycles, bicycles, historic traction engines, steam rollers, stationary engines, vintage market, Ooh. Morris dancers. Oh, wow. Yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Axe throwing. No. They won't let me do that. No. <laughs> Dog display. Oh. That'll be for disobedient dogs who didn't the, get home yeah. from shore. <laughs> the ones who didn't win. <laughs> Trade stalls, food and drink, live mm. music. Another fantastic two-day event. And a kiddies corner. Kiddies corner. Yeah, kiddies corner. Kiddies corner. So I'm guessing there's kiddies stuff as well. Yeah. Oh, this one looks cool. What was that, mm. Steam? So the weekend after, we're on to the 26th to the 29th. So this is a three-day event. Yeah. This is a good one. Yeah. One of the biggest of the year they've got. Scar skins and scooters. 
So when I'm looking at this poster, I'm just thinking the who. My generation. I'm thinking of the Mod Rockers film, Down in Brighton, what's that called? The Who. Is that The Who? It ah. Well, it's The Who, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Um, I can't remember the name of the film. Well, that's what I'm thinking of. Um, Quadrophenia. Quadrophenia. That's what I'm thinking of. Um, but yeah, it's all uh, scooters, scar and skins. Now, there's something special about this event. Oh, okay. What is it? Bad Manners. You know, if you're into this stuff, you know who bad manners are. Bad manners are there. Yeah. They're there. Yeah. Um, Buster Blood Vessel will be there performing. <laughs> How cool is that? That's brilliant. She's never heard of them. No. <laughs> <laughs> but if you know who they are, it's brilliant, isn't it? So, best live mm. music on the scooter scene. Brilliant. Uh, so, you've got bad manners, the bad manners. You've got special kind of madness, so this is going to be like tribute bands. Mm -hmm. um, Scarbucks, Scarburst UK, The Mod Show, and Andy Scar. So if you're in that scene, you'll know who they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, plus seven top pro DJs. Wow. Including Northern Soul DJs. That'd be cool. I'd love to. I want to go to that. <laughs> Well, we did say we're going to pick a few, so maybe that might be one, yeah. I would love to see when people that, dancing. Cause events like this, people do dress up ready for the yeah. Northern Soul and they do the Northern Soul dancing and it is amazing. Yeah, so that's the 26th to the 29th. That's actually a whole weekend then, is it? Uh, Friday yes. to Monday, that's brilliant. Yeah, hundreds of scooters from across the country. Brilliant. Um, Saturday ride out and best in show awards. Yeah. So don't know what that one is. Um, so you've got club stands, you're going to have an auto jumble. Is that selling all like automobile stuff? Yeah. <laughs> Trade stands and a food and a drink. <laughs> now this one is a, is more expensive, but I'm guessing that's because you're seeing bad manners. Yeah, yeah, you're paying for the quality, aren't you? <laughs> and special kind of madness. <laughs> it is £20 per person for a day ticket, yeah. £45 pounds per person for a weekender ticket which is still very which good. is fantastic because that, remember that's three days get yeah. yourself booked in on the campsite get it done now yeah that won't be up for long well come for the day <laughs> you keep forgetting you can come for the day can't yes. you yes all right moving on and then it's musket fire it's third to fourth of june oh okay again 10 pound an adult under 12s free 10 a.m till, till 4 p.m yeah um Saturday and Sundays are public shows. So this is... Right. Muskets Fire. So this you're talking Civil War and stuff, aren't you? And We've seen something like this here, haven't we, last year? I, I can't remember what we saw. I can't remember. That it was a particular show. But Saxon and Vikings oh, that's we saw. The one. But we saw the muskets and stuff, didn't we? They came out with the muskets. I think they did. Yeah. I think they did. So Which is good. On the field there, you'll have them like drama they'll be having a little fight amongst yeah. each other enjoy the drama on this amazing weekend see how warfare changed the world from napoleon to american civil war hear the roar of the gun blasts and smell of the black powder brilliant battle tactics explained visit the camps so they'll all be having their own little camps yeah. Cooking how they would have done in back in the days. Making little bits and drag because remember you bought a bracelet from one of those little did. stills, didn't you? I did. <laughs> um so yeah, see how they lived and fought. Yep. Another cracker. <sighs> and then there's a couple which we haven't got leaflets yes. for. They haven't actually got them yet. Unfortunately, yeah. So Sunday the eleventh of June is gonna be a family fun day. Now I've Googled that and it looks kind of fantastic. So I'm guessing it's going to be fun for the family. Yeah, it's it is right right around like the children and families basically, but it looks fantastic. Weekend after for two days is the 17th and 18th of June, Stonham Summer Country Festival. Now it is country music. That's the one I want to go to. That I'll be there. We'll be there for that one. Um, yes. I think it's country music from what yes. I, I just heard from the promotions guy. Oh, guy. okay. Um, and then after that, Ancient History Alive. Oh, that's what we did, isn't it? No. Something Alive last year. Saxons and Vikings. Oh, uh, okay. I don't... 
<laughs> Ancient History of Life, 24th, 25th of June, £10 an adult, under 12 free, 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. each day. Yeah, so that's... What's this then? Learn about, learn about battle strategies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Celt, okay, Celts. Celts to Romans through to the early Saxons. So this is your very early warfare. Yeah. Mm-hmm. People dressed up as Romans. That'll be cool. And you can have a go at some of the activities, is what it says that will say there. So yes. that should be interesting. And again, see the encampments of early civilizations and how one was replaced by another. Yeah. You could learn a lot from these things, honestly. Instead of getting your kids reading a book <laughs> yeah. about the Romans and Saxons and stuff, yeah, take them take there. Them to a show, get them talking yeah. to these people there and they'll tell them everything. Oh, yeah, they're very friendly. They'll talk to you about anything, won't they? They certainly will. Mm-hmm. And then after that, I haven't got a leaflet again. It's the Suffolk Cycle Fest. This sounds interesting, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, 15th and 16th of July. So look out for that one. Yep. Yeah. Am I miss. I'm, what are you missing? Are you always got me? Have I got my order wrong? He's in wrong order, are oh, you? Before Cycle Fest, there was the English Civil War. How could I miss ah. that one out? 8th <laughs> and 9th of July. Um, an action packed weekend of living history and more. Uh, English Civil. So you're back mm-hmm. to 1600s, aren't you? Or 17? Yeah. I don't know when it was. 1666 yeah. ish? I don't so know. It's all reenactments again, isn't Reenactments, it? Yeah. all your muskets and things like that. Yeah, any little camps and stuff like that. Yeah. So then we're back onto a car show. Now, I've never heard of this either. <laughs> this is the 22nd and 23rd of July. CTG American Car Show. This looks amazing. Now, CTG is Carrot Town Garage. I've never heard of that, have you? No. It's ECG. CTG. Oh, CTG. So, again, I don't know what that is. Apart no. from it's American cars and they look pretty cool. Yeah. It's a two-day show again. Yep, so that's good. Everything is American, apparently. And there is going to be Saturday Night Entertainment from Stonham Sounds. Oh, well, so there'll be things be going on in the theatre as well. Yeah. Um, moving on to Oof. Dawn of Chivalry or Chivalry? Chivalry. 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 Dawn of Chivalry. Chivalry. I'll, I'll go along with that. <laughs> um, yeah. Another battle one. This is like armour, I believe. Try, yeah. try on the armour and wield the weapons. Yeah. So we're going back to Middle Age now. You're pr- probably talking, I don't know, Middle Age. Um, I don't mean Middle Age, do I? Do I mean Middle Age? I don't know. Not very good with my history like you. I'm not at the moment, <laughs> am I? 1200s, 1300s, 1400s, people with armour on, yeah? yeah. Uh, going up to the Civil War area, that area, that's what I'd say. So knights in full plate armour, walk around the camps experience the sights and smells because yeah. they do actually cook food from yeah the yeah day. you'll see the little old ladies cooking the bread or the stew or whatever you will not get yeah. a mcdonald's at that event <laughs> uh, now oh, now probably the biggest event of the year yay comic-con um, comic-con <laughs> Comic yeah. Con. You keep saying Comic Con. Well, I don't know if it is Comic Con. I think it is. Co- well, they call it Comic Con. I it's think Comic-Con. a lot call it Comic Con. Yeah. Okay. But it says here Comic Con. Yeah. Legends Comic Con. So this is a weekend, fourth, uh, fifth, and sixth of August. Three day. A three day. Yeah. I haven't got any info on it at all yet. No. Apart from what I learnt from speaking to the bar manager. Oh, Danny. Uh, the, no, no, no. The the other new guy. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, presented by Vader's Raiders, a Star Wars costume group. So, from what he was telling me, he actually, if you look at the leaflet with them all dressed up, he actually thought the guy in the bar. Yeah. Well, you know, he arranges all these leaflets. He does all the photos. He does all the work. Does a yeah. bit of filming himself, <laughs> and the filming is done. The pictures he's done for this are fantastic. So they're all going to be dressed up, walking yeah. around as Star Wars characters and thousands of other characters. And you come dressed up as well. That's the whole fun of it, isn't it? You can come Kanda. dressed up. Yeah. Kanda. 
Um, and I think they're going to have it where you can actually go on the stage in the theatre and have your pictures, to your kids take oh, pictures wow. with Darth Vader and stuff. Oh, that would be brilliant. The kids would love that. And I'm presuming it is like a proper comic con where you can actually buy comics and little yeah. games and cards and figures and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, usually at events like that, they have someone out of one of the films signing pictures and stuff. Yes. So don't, don't know if they will or not. Well, there's no information as such on that. It's so too early. Keep, keep your eyes open. It off if, if you'd be interested in that one we're talking august you know yeah most companies aren't even thinking about next month let alone august <laughs> they've already got the flyers out um so then it's the big bus show yeah i think this will be good yeah i like that. i like buses and stuff uh this is on the 13th of august five pounds for adults under 12s free oh, that's 10 good. till 4 Yep. Um, driver free with up to three passengers free. I think that's to do with if you're bringing one of the vehicles with you. I don't know. Yeah. Don't know. But it's but £5 an adult under 12s free. Yeah. It's going to be hundreds and hundreds of buses from across the year. I'm sure don't across forget you're going to have traders and stuff there as well. Yeah. yeah. Start rushing through them a bit now because this video is going on and on and on. <laughs> Um, so the next one, classic car show, hundreds of classic cars and bikes. Yeah, my cup of tea. £10 an adult, 20th of August. Yeah, and don't forget if you're interested, you can come with your own vehicle as well, get in touch, I'm sure. Knuckle Busters. Now this is what I think sounds cool. So it is cars then, is it? It is cars, but again, oh. I don't know what Knuckle Busters American are. American and British cars with muscle. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing so hot rods, classic classics, cars. yeah, cars and bikes. Family fun fair, food and drink, bands, jive dancers, hot yeah. rod movies, an MC, DJs, trade stands, cruise out on Saturday, live music over the entire weekend, prizes for the exhibitors. Mm -hmm. That sounds pretty cool. Yep, yeah, that's ten pound an adult under twelve free again. <laughs> this one we really wanted to see a leaflet on, but there isn't one yet because we want to know what it is. Oh, this one, yes, yes. Rock and wrestle. Yes. Just use your own imagination on that one. Yeah, it sounds fun. S Sunday the 10th of <laughs> September. Then another American car show. Brilliant, yeah. Um, American classics spanning over six decades. Yep. 17th of September, £10 an adult. There we go. Oh, this is an interesting No, we're not on one. that one yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Swede Fest. Again. Swede. I don't know what that's going to be. Is it vegetables? It's going to be about Sweden. Oh, Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> guessing. I don't know. I thought you meant the, the Swede. Let's all celebrate Swedes and Swede turnips Fest. for a day. Oh, that, well, that's going to be interesting. I might keep an eye out and see exactly what... It's a two-dayer. Is it? So 23rd and 24th okay. of September, Swede Fest. And then we have a Land Rover show. Yay! I think this is going to be good. 4x4, four four, Landy Heaven. Yeah, I love stuff like this. Live music again all over the weekend. Fantastic. 7th and 8th of October. Yep. Hundreds of classic, modified and new Land Rovers and Range Rovers. Trade stands, ah. auto jumble, food and drink, etc., etc., etc. Yeah. Um, that is, a, I've always wanted a Land Rover. You have, haven't you? You had a go in one once. I didn't did. You? There was something wrong with my car, and a kind <laughs> viewer offered to fix it for me. Whilst yes. it was being fixed, he says, You can have my Land Rover. Yeah. <laughs> so it was one of these old Land Rovers, and I'm driving it around. And then he took me off roading, and we were going up hills like that. A Land Rover can get up anything. Moving on. <laughs> uh, Saxon and Viking Festival. This is the one we went to last year, Mazzy. I see. Um, oh, this one has a ceremonial Viking boat burning. Viking, Viking boat burning. That sounds fantastic. Ooh, fire, fire dancers. dancers. Torchlight parade. Wow. Okay, they've upped the ante this year. So this is a Saturday and a Sunday. This is actually 11 till 8. So that's a good long day, isn't it? On Saturday, yeah. And yeah. Sunday, 11 till 4. £10 an adult, under 12's free. Can't remember if I just said that. <laughs> so it's cooking, weaving, leathercraft, mm -hmm. woodwork, blacksmithing, herbalists, saga storytelling and rune reading. 
Yeah. And there'll be a guy there selling the best bracelets you've ever seen, which he makes himself, because I got one last year. There's a lot of handmade good stores there, yeah. Mm. And that is all I've got in leaflets. Uh, yeah. And after that, you're coming up to Christmas. Saturday the 25th and Sunday the 26th of November is a Christmas craft market. Oh, wow. Oh, I'd love to, to try that. We won't be here, I don't think. But... How would you like to have breakfast with Santa? Ooh. He's very busy making toys and stuff like that, <laughs> but apparently Saturday the 2nd, Saturday the 9th, Sunday the 3rd, Sunday the 10th, Friday the 15th and Sunday the 24th of December, breakfast Santa is coming Santa. here. That's brilliant. What more could you want? <laughs> Absolutely huge lineup. Yeah. If there's anybody out there who knows a place which offers so many, such a variety of events, yes. please tell us. Because we, we need to know about these kind of places. Yeah. And I don't think there's anywhere like this place, is there? <laughs> I, not such a variety like that in no. one place. No. You know, you have showgrounds in places and they'll have an event every yeah. month, maybe, at the most. But then you're forgetting we've got all this on our doorstep as well. Yes. You know. Yeah. But anyway. So, yeah. Yeah, um, it's going to be a good year. Fantastic year. Yeah. Get yourselves to the big weekend. This weekend. Starting tonight. Yeah. As you're watching this, it's just starting. Yeah. <laughs> it's on all Saturday, all Sunday. Um, just to our regular viewers, I'd just like to say, we haven't forgot the super thanks. We are going to be thanking you in a future video. Yeah. Um, mm. But we'll get on to that. Right, thank you all for watching. Yeah, thank you. We'll see you all on the next. We're going to be making quite a lot of videos this weekend here. Yeah. So come back and so see what excited. we get up to. See you the weekend. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.